boys, 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 and girls. Okay. Look, over the years, I've learned a couple of things with DCC decoders. I will make a short little series of videos on what to do's and what not to do's and what I want to want to. But most important thing I want to do tonight is a don't ever do this. I've just sent two decoders to a customer of mine. Hell of a good oak. Last oak in the world that deserves this. And he found me and said to me, listen, he's fitted the decoders. Both of them, the speakers died. Um, they tried new speakers on it, but it's dead. Now, I know what happened because it's happened to me as well. And I want to do this video tonight to tell you guys, if you do your fitness yourself, what not to do. What is very important to never do. On an ESU decoder. Look, I have to say as well, the series I'm going to make is all based on the ESU decoder. I don't use anything else. All right. On the ESU decoder, it comes with that little sugar cube speaker. Now, this little thing, you've got to be very, very careful of. If anything touches over those two wires there, it will blow the circuit. It will blow your sound circuit. Okay? Then it's bye bye Marai. Good practice is it comes soldered from the factory. Good practice is to, while you install your decoder, while you do your fitment or whatever, there's nothing really happening here. Okay? This is the magnet. So, insulate it. Just stick a little bit of um, insulation tape over those two points. Do your fitment. Do your speaker placement. Do everything. Glue your little box in. And then when you're done and you've placed your uh, speaker inside your locomotive, you can remove that. But make very sure that you never put that upside down. If you have a, This is a Proto 2000. If you have this here, and those two points touch there, poof, bye-bye decoder, you know, be very, very careful. If you have metal weights like this where you're going to do your speaker fitment, make sure that you keep insulation tape between those points and this. It will pop it. That's the first thing. To connect to that, if you've done everything right on this thing, and this is something that is you should actually mention in their installations, uh, you know, in their directions. I've never seen it. It might be there. I've, I've never seen it. But anyway, this little speaker is very, very fragile. So when you fit this to the box, the little boxes, each one's you see this little plastic thing here. That comes in the kit. You can now build up this box um, to different sizes. The more of these you put in, the more base you will have. And the bottom plate is now at the moment on it there. Um, when you build that box, never ever glue it with super glue straight out the bottle. No. Because if a touch of glue goes anywhere near this, all right, or near that diaphragm, it's stuffed. The speaker won't work. Okay. All right, so that's the one thing. All right, second thing. If you can or you have to, do not ever touch that diaphragm with your hand. And if you can, never ever push either side, either the magnet or there with your finger on that, the silver bits. Do not ever do that. Because what happens is, it actually presses it on inside and the speaker shorts inside the speaker and blows your decoder. I've had that twice. I've done that twice. All right, so be very, very careful of that. Okay, now I've only got one hand here. Now, the other thing I want to show you. You built your box. And it doesn't, you see there's the bottom. Now, this fits in there like that, and you can build the box up to as many pieces, as much space as you have. 
all right? But I want to show you now how important it is to always seal this box. So, what, this is what you do. You take a screwdriver like this, with a flat point, or any flat object, it can be a piece of brass, it can even be a piece of wire. You take a piece of paper like that, you put your glue down there, make a blob of glue there, put your flat object in it, wipe it over this bit here, there, drop there, drop there, drop there, drop there, wipe it flat, you do not want excess there, and then glue it. Make very sure that you do not get any glue on this thing, because then it's stuffed. Won't blow the decoder, but the speaker won't work. That's the one thing. Now, very, very important next step. Like I'm talking here to you now, you will see that that's on stop. Very, very important to never have power here. I cannot even begin to stress this enough. Never, ever have power on this thing when you're fiddling with it. Not here, not in the train, ever. You know, if you take the body off and you have a train like that, I extend to run them, that's fine, that's fine. But if you see that there's a carbon shaft underneath you catching a wire, stop the train, switch the power to stop, do your adjustment here and move your stuff that it's right and out the way, then go back and go, you know, go and then run your loco. Never, ever bring a screwdriver or a tool or anything or a piece of wire or a tweezer or whatever close to this decoder when there's power on it. You never do that. All right. I sound like a teacher. I used to hate these Uggs at school. Okay, but that's a, it's just to save you money because these things are expensive. So you, you, you don't want to blow them and it's so easy to blow them. Then the other thing that's important on these, you can stuff up connections here and there and get away with it. There's only two on it that will definitely blow something. It's the light circuit and the speaker. All right, that speaker shorts out. Bye-bye, there's the sound system gone. I've had it on the lights that I've shorted the lights out and the sound would work, but the motor outputs won't work and the lights won't work. All right, so it blows some of the stuff on the decoder. That happens, it's stuffed, decoder, scrap, chuck it in the bin, so it will send it back to ESU. It will cost you more than a new decoder to get it there and back if you're in Africa. All right, okay, so that's the other thing. Now, I'm going to put power on this thing. I want to show you something else that is important to if you want good sound. Right, let's take the air on. Okay, so that speaker is in its box, all right, but it's not sealed. Okay, so it's not glued down. You have to glue it down. You've got to make sure that in between all these little things that, you, that, that it's tight, do not put a, a hell of a lot of glue in there to seal it. What you do is when you've built that box, you've got your speaker in its place. Turn insulation tape around the whole thing, right up to the top. Leave the bottom open and the top open, but around like this. You turn insulation tape. Let me show you what happens. There's your train starting. You hear the sounds. It's in its box, but the sound's very cock. Then I phone me and they go, because... But listen to this now, the difference. Just with me pressing it down. Yeah. Now, if it's like that, that's the best sound you're going to get now with me with my fingers on there. But I can guarantee you, if you turn that insulation tape around it and seal it off, it will have more bass. It will even sound better than that. And a lot of locusts that didn't have a lot of space, I only used the bottom and the speaker, and I sealed it, and it sounded perfect. No problem. Okay, guys, look what I'm doing. I want to talk to you, but the first thing I do is I go to stop. Because as I was touching this thing with the power on it, my ass was clenching tight and shut. Because you do not do that. All right, basic, so that's basically Dakota Fitment 101. 
so that you don't have the same problem Paul's just had. You know, make sure that nothing touches the two, these two here. Insulate them while you're working on the loco. You can take that off if your speaker is standing on its base plate, and this is at the top. You can leave it, but then you must make sure when you put the locomotive body on that it's a plastic body, and that nothing will touch there that can short those two points. You know, short power from there to there. All right? Or, yeah, short. Okay, so that's basically it. I will show you some other stuff on decoder programming and on a lot of guys ask me after the sound file things oh what have you done no, no, no. I will show you what to do um, I will teach you all I know I'm not the best I got there there's a lot of guys that knows a hell of a lot more than me but you know if Renee comes and he visits me um, he's, he's been doing this for years um, I will speak to him and also other problems apart from these that I these are the most common mistakes people make but there are other ones too and there's one thing that I hate, and that's the word CV. Um, but I will get to that in the next video. So that's that's that for now. Okay, dudes. So I'm going to go. Goed jylle. Tot ziens.